lowly pawn? The way I see it, we're all pawns in the game of life. Someone is always pushing us around, always telling us what to do and deciding our fates. We can't fight it. I don't care who you are, a king, a queen, a bishop, or a pawn. We all come to the same fate in the end. We're all doomed. It's just that a pawn reaches that fate faster than the other pieces on the board. Pawns are just cannon fodder. It's so depressing. Consider this. These are the functions of the eight pawns. To shield the king by controlling the third and fourth ranks with our bodies. To defend and be the first to be sacrificed. To engage the enemy in combat. To prepare the way for more important chess pieces. And if we're really lucky, to struggle forward to the eighth rank for a battlefield promotion. As you can see, these pawn functions aren't exactly conducive to a long life. Have you noticed you never see a gray-haired old pawn? Huh, <laughs> now you know why. The word pawn is derived from peon, which means laborer. In 15th century England, the eight pawns were carved to represent different trades. The rook's pawns represented farm workers. The knight's pawns represented stone, iron, or woodworkers, or keepers of the king's highway. The bishop's pawns were notaries and innkeepers. The king's pawns were merchant bankers. The queen's pawns were physicians. Those were the days when we had better lives. Then, in the 18th century, all pawns were made to look identical, and we lost our individuality. Now it's more like being in the army. Let's talk about my movement. Either because we are brave, or because we are stupid. Pawns can only move forward into unoccupied squares, one square at a time. We never retreat, so a bad pawn move can't be corrected. However, the first time a pawn is moved, he has the option of moving forward two squares. When I take an enemy piece, they have to be waiting for me in one of the two squares diagonally ahead of me. I can't take a piece that's directly in my forward path. This is supposed to resemble a soldier slaying his enemy with a sideways thrust of his sword. Baby, let's see if you can take me. What about your husband? The king? He's not here. Forget about him. I want you. This is some kind of trick, isn't it? You're my sworn enemy, your majesty. You'll never know, unless you take a chance and come on over here. It's your move. I'll show you a good time. I told you it was a trick. Anyway, the pawn's motto is, United we stand, divided we fall. Pretty clever, huh? I just made it up. But the biggest pawn weakness shows up when the pawn gets isolated from its fellow pawns. Isolated pawns are easy prey for enemy attacks. However, you'll notice that the more powerful pieces usually retreat when faced with a pawn attack. A queen is as strong as eight pawns, but she will normally retreat when attacked by one. One more thing I should tell you about is how I take an enemy piece en passant, which is a French term that means in passing. When I'm in a square at the fourth rank, like I am now, and an enemy pawn decides to move forward two squares on his first move, I can capture him en passant, like this. There are times when you won't want to make an en passant capture, so this is an optional maneuver. 
In any case, it's too dangerous for me to keep standing around out here by myself, so I'll just be moving along, if you don't mind. There's a lot more you need to learn about chess than we can possibly tell you about here. But you should know enough now to get started. And what's my advice? Avoid losing. And that way, you always win. <laughs> Play chess now, or I'll smash you! <laughs>